Stargate provides API endpoints for Cassandra databases, including AstraDB, which is DataStack's Cassandra as a Service offering. One of these APIs presents a JSON document model interface, or in other words, a document database. Document databases associate keys with values, where the values are JSON documents. This sounds a bit like a key value database, but the values of a key value database are opaque. Alternatively, document databases understand and can navigate the contents of JSON documents. We'll show you how this works. As with other Stargate APIs, we start by setting up some environment variables that will make it easier to use the document API. Log in to Astra, select the database you want to use, and click the Connect tab. Make sure the Document API is selected from the left navigation, and click here to copy the necessary environment variables. In a terminal window, paste the environment variables you just copied. You see that we need to supply a token before we can set that last variable. To get the token, return to the Astra user interface, and from the drop-down menu on the left, select Organization Settings. From the left navigation, select Token Management. Then, create a token by selecting the Database Administrator role and clicking the Generate Token button. Copy the token value by clicking here. Back in the terminal, delete the placeholder, paste the token value, and execute the export command. Now, we're going to use curl to access the document API. Our document database has a hierarchical structure consisting of namespaces, which map to Cassandra key spaces. Namespaces contain collections, and collections contain documents. We'll use a put verb to create the document within the collection. In this example, we'll name the collection products, which we include as part of the document URL endpoint. Also, we will include the document ID, or key, as the final part of the URL endpoint. Here's what the entire endpoint looks like. As part of the curl command, we'll include these headers. The first header indicates we're using a JSON payload, and the second header contains the authentication token. Finally, we include the JSON for the document. We will also pipe the output from the command into JQ to make sure the output is easy to read. Let's execute the command. You see that Stargate responds by returning the document ID. Let's query the document to verify we really stored it. The query curl command uses the same endpoint URL, including the document ID, but we use a get verb. We can retrieve a subdocument by appending the JSON path to the end of the URL. Let's update the document. To update any part of the document, we can use a patch command. By convention, we use put commands for creating documents and patch commands for updating documents. Cassandra does not perform a read before writing. So, an insert behaves the same way as an update, which we refer to as an upsert. Therefore, a put and a patch really behave the same way and can be used interchangeably within the document API. But we use patch for updates just to make it explicit. Here's an example of an update. 
Notice we only supply the values for the subdocument. Let's execute the command and retrieve the entire document to review what we did. Notice that if we only want to retrieve the subdocument we just modified, we can do that by appending the JSON path to the URL as shown here. With the delete verb, we can remove all or part of a document depending on the URL endpoint we supply. Let's remove a subdocument with this command and retrieve the entire document to see the results. Now, let's delete the entire document. That's all there is to it. Of course, you can find more documentation on the document API by clicking here, and then clicking here, and here.